Today, I am going to take the class for 7th standard. Close the lesson is a prayer to the teacher. Actually, this lesson is based on a speech made by Supreto Bhakti, founder and CEO of Mind Tree, as a part of the convocation addresses at the International Academy for Creative Teaching Bangalore on January 6, 2005. He is addressing the teachers graduating from the academy and he requested the teachers to be go beyond syllabus and teach students the values and skills to live a useful and meaningful life. First of all, we will see the teacher how he is delivering the speech. It is a great occasion for the 2005 batch of graduating teachers. It is also a great day for the faculty and administration to have given the world another set of people whose impact is going to be proportionately large. I am honored to be here with all of you to share your joy, your hopes as teachers on behalf of all the lives you will touch. I have a few things to ask of you. It is going to be a long, somewhat unusual list. So I seek your indulgence. Here goes my list. Now, according to this list, the first list is, I pray to you that you teach me the value of inclusion. Actually, children, inclusion, inclusion means nothing but the feeling to treat everything that is around us as our own. Next, I will not know the boundaries are meant to be pushed, not to be lived in. For example, the fact that I clean my house but empty my garbage on the road. That is because the road is not included in what I feed is my home. Another one we will say, I feed my child but do not ask if the maid has eaten today. Her hungry is not included my hungry. I take my child to the movie but do not ask him to call the neighbor's child. The child is outside my zone of parenting. So teacher, teach me inclusion. Next another one list, I pray to you to teach me to communicate. As I get caught in the rat race of common entrance, test and cutthroat compet competition, everyone will tell me that my survival depends on my power to impress. The more I want to impress, the less I will communicate. Teach me to speak and able to write so that I am able to convey what I feel. Teach me to communicate with. Now we will see the list. The simplicity of a child and the nakedness of a flower. Those who cannot speak or hear. People less gifted, less privileged than I am. Those who have come before me and those who will follow. Things animate and inanimate. Next the list. I pray to you to make me learn more than that teacher teach me how I can learn to learn. As you prepare me for the wide world in the beach, I need to fend for myself and for others. One time learning will not be good enough. I will have to have the ability to learn newer and more difficult things. Some of it I will need to learn very quickly a 
in all this what will become critical is the process of learning itself more than just what i am able to learn help me to learn newer ways to learn and that will make learning a joy for me another one is the next we will say as i learn to learn from usual sources i pray that you teach me to appreciate the interconnected nature of things teach me not just about the way the waves arise but what causes the to fall teach me to appreciate that the trees i fell the small creatures i kill with indiscriminate use of fertilizers and pesticides on the ground the urban decay i cause with my consumerism all add to answer imbalances in the natural state of things that cause death and destruction and can one day engulf me and mine each time i see a scavenging bird on my city skyline teacher tell me why the singing birds are going away and tell me how can i see them preach on my window sill again another one list i pray to you to teach me not just the ability to answer but also to power the question everybody is telling me to do as i am told before i know it i am in slave it is because we do not ask question only if we ask questions we can get answer if we get the answers we can explore to establish a better order of things if we ask questions we will also learn to be accountable we will be more willing to accept that when we ask the questions we can be questioned to in the exchange truth will emerge as i learn the power of humility teach me about how all things that sustain life on yet come free teacher i will live in an increasingly commercial world i will be judged on how much value i can create my buying and selling things my personal success will be determined by my ability to consume i will not be able to be always pushing the ways of the world but do tell me of all things that truly support life come without payment the cow does not get paid for me milk she gives us the earth does not ask for money for the crops we get the sea does not come to get royalties on the catch of the day the sun the air the river and the clouds do not get paid for the for their services i pray to you to teach me the power of silence teach me also to raise the voice to protect the truth in your world where every moment is going to be full of noise teach me to be quiet teach me to appreciate the sound of silence for in silence i can complete a power within teach me to make my point without having to raise my voice and teach me to raise the voice my voice teacher when my silence can hurt another life how we will see that finally i pray develop a world view of things teach me to appreciate that poverty disease and the hunger have no nationality for hundreds of years i have lived in a world with a narrow domestic walls in that world patriotism was founded on religious bigotry racial intolerance 
and man's remarkably short view of time it was bounded by barbed wires and smoking guns in the future that i want to create i want you to teach me the power of loving my fellow human beings teach me to appreciate diversity and dialogue teach me tolerance and teach me to remove the word foreign and foreigner from my vocabulary why with these thoughts allow me to conclude my conversation address may this day remain with you forever and may your thoughts be illuminated with the power of a thousand suns ko children now we will see synonyms the words which we can see in the lesson which come across in the lesson now we will find out the meaning for that first one synonyms syllabi actually the plural for syllabi is syllabus syllabi syllabus inclusion all will be value cut throat this competitive less privilege this advantage anime living fan look after critical extremely important enslave made someone slave commercial money minder eliminator light up okay children now we will see the antonyms teaching learning useful useless meaningful meaningless large little inclusion exclusion big a broad skyline lag lag balance imbalance urban rural power weakness okay children now we will see inclusion and its important actually inclusion means nothing but the feeling to treat everything around us as our own as our own it's important it helps us to feel others protect the surroundings as our own once we learn inclusion we will not pollute the road or ignore the needs of the children around us now we will see the good or effective communicate communication good communication has the simplicity of a child it helps to talk who cannot speak or hear who are less gifted and less privileged so far children we are uh, seeing about the inclusion next we will see in the next class thank you